Element Well Studios. Joining us now, though, and this is a really cool story. We've got back on the show with us the right honorable mayor of Biloxi, uh, Andrew Gillich Fofo. Do you get called right honorable ever? I don't know about that honorable. I get called a lot of things, sometimes honorable, but no, I, I, just Fofo. Somebody calls me Mr. Gillich. I say, that's my daddy. I'm just Fofo. I can I can identify with that a hundred percent. Now, you've you've got something going on down in Biloxi and and down on the coast. Uh, I this qualifies as unusual and really cool. You've got a very special visitor. We do, we do. Actually, uh, coming right from the United Nations is the president of Croatia, Zoran Milanovic. In, in about his top six ministers from the Republic of Croatia to the United Nations and to the United States. And he'll be visiting us uh, tomorrow morning at about 1030. And then uh, uh, we have another reception for our huge Croatian community at the uh, Croatian American Cultural Center, known as the Savoni Lodge, uh, back when Elvis Presley played there. But uh, the, uh, the community is going to kind of welcome, you know, that delegation from, from, uh, the, you know, from the homeland, so to speak. And we're very, very excited. And, you know, and uh, we'll have, a, uh, I think, the governor and our, both of our senators and, and uh, uh, speaker of the House will be at City Hall. And then, again, uh, uh, that afternoon we'll be at, uh, at, at the lodge in order to, uh, you know, let the president of Croatia uh, connect with the, the community that's been here for, you know, a few hundred years. So, uh Starting in the mid uh, 18, you know, 1890s or 60s and to the, to the 90s, but it really took off in 1903. And that's the, you know, that 20th century made the, the Croatian impact and the seafood capital of the world and those kinds of uh, things that, the, you know, the Croatian community really got involved in from the seafood days to, to now you know, and sometimes in politics. So we're really well, tremendously excited. That was my question was, what led to the influx of people from Croatia to the Mississippi Gulf Coast? Because I, I, th I think that it's a lower number uh, than you would expect that are aware of that, number one. And number two, uh, it, it's, it's really cool, but something had to prompt it. Was it the seafood industry? Is that what brought them here? Right. You know, around 1890, the Industrial Revolution hit. And, you know, before refrigeration... You know, and, and, and shrimp and oyster was a big business. And I'm going to tell you another story. You'll see I get finished with this. But so 1900 hit. We had a, a two or three canneries, shrimp and oyster canneries. And, you know, I think there was a migration of people from the Chesapeake Bay area, you know, Polish and, and, and uh, of course, some of the French. But around 1900, uh, there was an interaction uh, that brought my grandparents and then, you know, sort of an exponential explosion of people coming here. But 1903, 19 to 1920, uh, they began, you know, entering into uh, the, the shrimp processing, the shrimping, the, the oysters and that sort of thing. By 1920s, in the 1920s, the Croatians dominated the shrimp and oyster industry. Literally, like right where you see all these casinos now, that were all Croatian uh, uh, descendants and, and, and of, uh, you know, first generation immigrants from, the, you know, from Croatia to Biloxi. And, uh, uh, and you know, like my grandfather, for instance, he got here in 1903 with about five families, five of his cousins. Then of his 13 kids, 13 brothers and sisters, he brought nine of them here. That's why I'm related to everybody you know, in, in Biloxi. So it just, it was a very unique situation where the, you know, the families, you know, the, the economic times around the world were, you know, challenging. It, you know, it was, you know, monarchy and, and uh, some of those things where you, you, know, you might not want to serve in a war or, or some of the things, but you know, economic conditions were good over here. It was a fertile ground. So 1920, 19, uh, you know, 30 was the second generation, my, my, my parents' generation. And then, you know, here we are, and I've got grandkids now, but it's pretty much right here in the core of our Gulf Coast, Biloxi, Gulfport, Ocean Springs, you know, uh, Bay St. Louis. Uh, we've got that Croatian fabric. And, and it, you know, uh, we even today got people looking to see where they got Croatian heritage so they can be a member of our, you know, organization. So it's kind of cool. But anyway, oh, we're real, real proud. Cool. Yeah, real proud to, to welcome the president uh, tomorrow morning. So. Well, and, and as it has expanded throughout the generations, does anyone have any idea how big the Croatian community is down on the Gulf Coast? Is there any way to even estimate it at this point? Well, let, let me give you an idea. This, this organization that I've become, it's called Slavic Benevolent Association. Uh, it started in 1913. 
So we'll be celebrating our 110th year. Primarily, you know, there was language uh, challenges and, and uh, education challenges. Uh, so what happened, this organization was, was formed, a serious, you know, with about 20 or 30, but now uh, the, uh, the, the men's organization is made up of about 300 members and, and the women's have about 200 members. And, you know, we all have kids and grandkids that hopefully when they're 18, they can be part of this. But, you know, it's in, it, you know, it impacts a couple thousand folks you know, when, you, when you're there. But, you know, uh, we always like to say we have 300 members in our, in our men's organization, but we have 600 opinions. So if you know what I mean, we, 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 we make uh, good debaters. And, uh, you know, you can see that Croatian thing as far as, uh, you know, uh, that trait. So I, I won't, I'll leave it there. But, you know, we do enjoy uh, a discussion, if, that, if I put it that way. Well, how did this visit tomorrow come about? Did you reach out and invite them, or did they just say, oh, by the way, we're going here? It's an interesting story. Uh, we're very good friends, and, and we have a, a uh, in Belchase, Louisiana, there's a huge Croatian society. It's called Croatian American Society that we've been friends with. And some of their members are our members, and some of our members are their members in Belchase, Louisiana, Plaquemines Parish. They have a big festival once a year. So last year, 2022, Pierre Simonovic, is the uh, ambassador to Croatia visited our you know our community and we all went you know to their big uh, heritage uh, festival, so you know we got to we must have made an impression. They're also, the general council to Croatia, uh, Cro uh, Croatian general council in Chicago. Her name is uh, uh, Sonia uh, Lakovic. Anyway, got to be very good friends with them over the last couple of years. And uh, about six weeks ago, he emailed me, Pierre emailed me uh, something, said, we have a, a proposal for you to consider uh, in, in, you know, in Flux. He said, uh, the, the Croatian president and his ministers will be in New York on uh, uh, right now, September 19th through the 21st, uh, and would like to visit Biloxi and then Bell Chase after this. And uh, so that's what, when I, and you can't say no. Now, a little, a little bit of circumstances. I don't know if you've heard of the Slavic Invitational. Well, we've got about 800 people playing golf in our once a year deal, but I cannot say no to the president, to a presidential visit. So we're, you know, we're, we're on five golf courses. We're, you know, tomorrow morning will be the first tee off. Tee off first round will start at eight o'clock and one o'clock. But, you know, you can't say no to a presidential visit, and that's where we are. So I'm, Can I'm you just well. take him to the golf tournament? I, you know, he's on a tight schedule, and, and the Secret Service, you know, they don't mess around. So, uh, you know, windows, you know, kind of drawn and, and you know, trying to kind of stay secret on where things are happening. But that, that cats out the bag in, in, in routes. And, and so, but, you know, we're excited. And I think uh, uh, they understand that th this could be a, a great and a relaxing and, and an informational visit for, for the president of Croatia. So they reached out to, to you guys. You, you didn't go, hey, would yeah, you come down yeah. here? They reached out to you out of nowhere. They did. They did. They said, hey, the president would like to visit Biloxi and like to visit. Uh, it just so happens that the, uh, the Bell Chase group uh, uh, or actually completing the you know, a completion of their new building. And so they'll be you know, unveiling it or, or opening it that you know, tomorrow, tomorrow night. So it sort of uh, kills two birds with one song. But. Uh, you know, over the years, the, the ambassador, uh, whoever it was in Washington, Yoska Paro was preceded uh, Pierre Simonovic, uh, would come to New Orleans for a sort of a you know, Croatian gathering. So we, uh, some of our folks have attended those things. It's usually in, like, you know, in the, in the hotels and so forth in, in New Orleans. But there's a tremendous South Louisiana, South Mississippi, and, uh, you know, it's in Alabama, too. There, you know, people that were involved, in, involved with the shrimp and oyster industry kind of, uh, you know, kind of stay together. It just so happens a lot of them are Croatian, or at least, you know, uh, uh, sons and grandsons and, and daughters of, of, of those folks who came here for a better way of life and uh, actually then, you know, raised their family in, in you know, uh, uh, just the best of conditions. So we're, we're, uh, we're just very hopeful and very glad that they uh, chose to come visit our, our little community. Uh, you get to put a uh, hosted a visiting head of state on your resume now, Fofo. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think uh, this is the first international president to ever hit Biloxi. You know, we're 324 years old, actually, you know, so it, it's a pretty good, you know, it's a pretty significant thing. Now, when you say 324 years old, you know, they got thousands of years of history. So we, I, I can't tell about history, but, you know, look, for our, 300, you know, a couple hundred years is pretty old for us down here, and then 300 years for Biloxi, that's pretty cool, too. 
Uh, Most definitely. Anyway. Fofo, it, it's a fantastic thing. It's cool both for Biloxi and the coast, but for the state in general that we have, you know, yeah. heads of state from other countries going, hey, I want to come there. That, that That's that's yeah. big. That's well, fantastic. Well, going to be here, and not, not, not U.S. Senators, and I'll speak, speak now. So it's going to be a big gathering inside City Hall tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm not supposed to tell anybody that, but that, that, they're here. Uh, about what? I didn't. It's just you and me, Fofo. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Enjoyed it so much, sir. And keep us updated. Let us uh, check back in. Let us know how it went. Okay. Will do. Thank, thank you so much. Y'all have a good day. And wish us luck. Bil- thank you. Biloxi Mayor Andrew Gillich here in the Element Well Studios. We continue next.